Five decades ago in the early 70s, I read that the Arctic ice caps were melting and global sea levels were beginning to rise as a result. It seemed fictitious at the time. Current research shows that global heating will cause an absolute minimum sea level rise of 27 centimetres from Greenland alone, with continued carbon emissions and the melting of other ice caps, along with thermal expansion of the ocean, a multi-meter sea level rise is guaranteed. It seemed fictitious at the time. Soon after, I read with incredulity that vast areas of the Amazonian rainforest were being cleared to make way for cattle farms, timber and mining extraction, road building and general construction. The destruction has continued until this day and now the veritable existence of the mighty Amazon is in abject peril. It seemed fictitious at the time. Then I heard that as a result of the use of manufactured chemicals, a giant hole had appeared in the protective ozone layer in the sky, which apart from other consequences, would increase incidence of skin cancer in humans and animals. It seemed fictitious at the time. Subsequently, I realised that our industrial food supply chain contains health damaging additives and chemicals, while toxic pesticides were being sprayed on most of our vegetables and fruit. This is not fictitious. Then I started to notice that the pristine beaches I played on as a child were constantly littered with a wide assortment of plastic debris, a permanent detrius that since has never gone away. Plastic isn't actually disposable. Of course, the issue of plastic is a global phenomenon. This is not fictitious. We've taken the future for granted for decades, and now we're at a point of no return. Global leaders must recognise that climate disaster isn't something that possibly might happen when the terrible effects are right on our doorstep. I want future generations to be able to look back and say, we changed the course of history and avoided global catastrophe. Leaders decided to take climate change seriously. They did the right thing and took action. We have the knowledge and the technology. Your children and your grandchildren's future depends upon you.